recent upgrades have increased capacity here to over 100,000, making it one of the largest stadiums in the country. It's Darrell K. Royal Memorial in Austin, the host of our contest today. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. That's a great tackle at the 33. That's good for a of eight yards. That makes it second down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. The halfback picks up a yard. And he's tackled at the 32. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Bolden, back to return it. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. The Longhorns right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellows up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. There's a play fake. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. The pass results in a first down. And I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. He gets rid of this one. From the 23-yard line, second down. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Number 85, the intended receiver in the play. That brings up third and ten. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's tackled around the 11-yard line. We've got a first and ten. All on the 11. man open and he can't pull it in. Looking for the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Yeah. 
and they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's under pressure, and they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So the sack makes this a second and long. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Got a man, watch out here. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield. If only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Texas is up by three. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 33. Nice run, and he's brought down. Strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 45. From the 45 yard line, first down. Nice run there. Baxter gains about five yards on the run. On the move, he throws complete. And they push him out at about the 31. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 34. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option.
Texas holds a field goal lead. Up the middle for a nice game. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. And here's another third down. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. We're at play number nine of this current drive. At the two. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Longhorns. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 68-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 10-0. The Longhorns have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point. But just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That'll make it second and four. Two times, two times. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. About a yard there on the carry, and that's enough for the first down for the halfback. The halfback got that one in the option play, although it was very well covered by this defense. He was still able to pick up the first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 43. Number 13 with the tackle at the 43-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. This is the eighth play of this drive. Makes it out to about the 29. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Oh, 
And he hits him hard at the 25. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. And he is drilled at the 20-yard line. That'll put an end to the first quarter of action. 10-0, Texas. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He makes his way out to about the six. And this is the 13th play of this drive. And he's level at the four yard line. From the four yard line. Second down. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Florida! The quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits to draw within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Texas is up a field goal. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Game of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he shoved out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Inside handoff. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Excellent open field tackle. That's good for a of seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Ray 
Decent run here, right side. That's good for the four yards. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Texas has a three-point lead. Steps out of bounds around the 31-yard line. That makes it 33. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Mike 17. Mike 17. Ready. Wide 80. They go to the ground game. And down he goes at the 32. One yard loss for the halfback. Fourth down. Kicks up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Runs right for a nice game. That's a game seven. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They run it left. That's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. with room to run. And he finally steps out at the 19-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. <laughs> Tackle outside after a nice pickup. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He makes it to the nine. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Nice run to the left there. And this is the 10th play of the drive. 
All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. He's taken down around the three-yard line. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. Kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas is up by three. Makes it to the 34. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He'll get it again, heading for the corner. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 35. First and 10, let's see if they can build off that great run. made around the 24-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. From the 12-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. There's a strike complete, and he's down. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. And he's taken down around the four-yard line. That's good for three yards. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Texas holds a field goal lead. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators have struggled on offense the last few drives. What do they need to get it rolling again? I think they need to find the intensity that they had early in the game and also just be a little bit more unpredictable, whether it's the run or the pass, just mixing up the two, trying to keep this defense more on its heels. Quick throw, tackle at the 29-yard line. Florida just took their first time out. Second down and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. Caught out in the open. He goes out of bounds at about the 35. That makes it first and 10.
Got a man. He can't complete the play. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. He throws left. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. From the 38-yard line, first down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Gets it out quickly. Florida is going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Keep it on the ground, and a great tackle right there. away and it hits the upright no good we've got a great game here folks as we reach the end of the first half 1610 Longhorn Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Texas with a six-point lead. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. 
And he's brought down. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Set 180. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at about the 21. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Nice run to the outside. Six. Handoff to the right. He gets out to about the eight. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Hits him hard at the six. That's good for gaining two yards. That brings him second and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, Texas! And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 23 10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven, ball on the 20-yard line. want to ever give your opponent a second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception he airs it out this one will fall incomplete this is a very well coached defense they know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes Bolden waiting the return. And this one is a beauty. Bolden takes it at the 32. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space. And I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. 
great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 43-yard line, second down. And he's level at the 42-yard line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happens. Big opening finds the junior, and he's tackled the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 19. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. That's a down of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. Gain two yards. That'll bring up third and six. They'll line it up again on third down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down at about the nine-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. There's a strike complete. Touchdown, Longhorns. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 37. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. He's got it with room to run, and they push him out at the 47-yard line. Throws it deep. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That makes 
From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds around the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it from the 43-yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a gain of ten. First down. They're going to pitch it. They'll bring him down at the 32. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Here's a quick throw. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice run there as they work the outside. This is the 11th play of this drive. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football and came up with a big defensive play. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. And they got him. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Florida lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns now extending their lead, playing really well on both sides of the ball, and whatever the coaches are doing, it's uh, working for them right now. Brad, I think it's just a combination of a few things. I, I think they've made the adjustments. they put their team in a position to be able to score points. And I think the players have, have taken the direction and gone out and executed, and all of a sudden they've got a double-digit lead. It's an outstanding performance so far. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Here we go. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, third down. It's a fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. 
tackle at the 43. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From their own 46-yard line, first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That's a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. And that brings an end to the third quarter. 30-13, Texas. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Mike 17, Mike 17. Here we go. Setting up play action. Waits. He wants it all. Can't make the grab. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Five wide. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Grabs it and hammered right there. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Brought down right around the 50. He's at the 40, and they make the stop around the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open.
Second down and 11. Ball on the 41-yard line. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And this play is number eight on the drive. The Cavalry's coming. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was the exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Fires out to his receiver. He's brought down in the open field. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's scrambling, and he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Mike 17. Mike 17. He gets to about the 41 yard line. receivers gets to about the 44 yard line And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 20. Completes it across the middle. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. And he is drilled at the 43-yard line. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. That's a great tackle at the 44. That's good for a gain of one yard. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. 
They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at the 29. That makes it second and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. Makes the grab past the marker. And he hits him hard at the 23. From the 23-yard line, first down. First down grab by the receiver. He's taken down at the 6. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Almost intercepted there. It's the 11th play of the drive. and it's almost picked off. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Fires quick. He's got another one. receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Bring him down at the 38. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, First down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 11. It's second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. Gives it left side. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. Florida is going to take their first time out of the half. They 
They go to the ground game. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and he's got it. Texas gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a D4. That makes it second and six. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 29-yard line. Third down. They come out on an empty backfield. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he might want it all here and does. He's got it. Touchdown. A huge pass and catch for the touchdown. And now we're down to a one score game. And he adds the extra point. Brought down at the 39. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left in the game. Tackle at the 31. Baxter gets eight yards on the play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. The Gators using their third and final timeout. He's level at the 28-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Great game here today in a tight one. Texas 33, Florida 27. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.